Um, what I suggest you do now, you can you can do it that way, obviously again this way, or we can just build it up in layers with um, acrylic paint, and I'll do that that way this time just to show you. So all I'm doing is I'm touching a, into a little bit of water with my brush, as you've you heard me say before. So I got a little bit of water in a pot, and that's all I use, as you can see. And basically, I just tap the very edge into the water, and that's all the water I use as far as that's concerned. And then I can paint straight on. Through the surface of the canvas itself. And I'm picking up a little bit of gesso and I'm blending that in on the canvas itself and building it up. In this technique you're going to have to spray this with water otherwise what's going to happen it is going to dry up on you very rapidly. So we've done the sky with the gesso and you can see that's a much easier process really. Um, I'm touching a bit of titanium white now. So. It's up to you. If you want to do it this way, you can do it this way. Or I, I personally like it that way. And you can see the sky now has got a little bit of more of that violety blue to it. And that's why I like ultramarine blue because it gives me that type of nice sky colour. And uh, this is going to be another Pacific painting. So I'm just showing you the under painting at the moment. Now I'm going into a, a, the ultramarine blue. I'm bringing that in. I'm spraying my canvas board. Again, I'm only touching the white brush into the water. I'm not using a lot of water with this. So I'm well within the 45% rule. If you don't know what the 45% rule is, acrylics dry quite rapidly. So we tend to over thin them with, with water. And that's not what we want to do. Because you're thinning down the molecular bonds of the paint. So we use um, a, a medium mix. Um, to correspond to the drying ability of that and um, there is another YouTube video which I, I show, I've show, uh, got online sorry and um, I'll place below and um, that will show you how I actually mix my own so you don't need to go and buy any particular brand of medium mix because it, um, it does work the way I do it and I've been using it for such a long time now um, I'd like to pass that on to you as I said. So blending this in now, you can see I'm not using a blending brush. I'm physically blending this in and I've been painting now for a good five to ten minutes. This could be a lake. In this case it is a lake. Um, or it could be a sea. Or you can do the same with grass. You just use green obviously. And um, we just let that dry now. I'll dry that with the air dryer. So you can use this principle in exactly the same way um, for grass. Back to the finger to, to test to see if it's dry. Of course it is. Uh, we need to let that um, we need to let that cool off a bit again now as I said because if I put paint on there it's going to dry rapidly so I'm going to give it a couple of minutes and um, I'll resume filming then. Okay a couple of minutes have come and, pa and, uh, come and gone, come and passed, come and gone. Um, I've mixed a bit of um, white titanium white and I did a very very smidgen of blue with that and um, I've added some water to it so I've got a like a, a, a very light pale whitey type with a hint of blue to it. 
and it's it's not too thin I have used a bit of that medium mix like I said and I, I will show you how to do this in the next tutorial but all you need to do then is put that just over there like that and I hope you've let the board dry in time and then you get that small half inch brush and blend that in And now I'm going to go into my ultramarine blue. Again with a touch of water. I don't want it overly thinned. So I'm just going to put a bit of ultramarine blue in. Like that. Very lightly blend that through. Hardly touching. And what I want to do now is get a bit of ultramarine blue. I'm going to touch it with a Mars black, a bit of water, and I'm just going to increase the, the colour around this edge. Now you can see I'm doing it on a, a bit of an arc like we did with the uh, Sunset Bird. So if you haven't seen that, I suggest you go and look at it because these are quite good techniques to actually learn and I'm going to get my Mr. Spray Bottle spray down there and I want to blend that in a little bit of paint lift in but that's not a problem that's because I haven't really dried it properly but if that does happen it's not a big problem as far as this is concerned because this is a layer painting and that's a wet on wet technique so but I want to show you that you can do multiple different effects and techniques on one painting so there we go and then we remove the well, masking tape and that's already given you depth and that's only using um, two colors of blue some ultramarine white um, that's ultramarine right some um, titanium white um, some ultramarine blue some cellulon blue um, some gesso and a little bit of Mars black and that's already because I've darkened the foreground there on a bit of an arc and I've left the top of the sky dark and then into the center it's getting lighter and lighter and lighter and we can play around with this with different layers of paint and we can put yellow in there or you can put some mountains in there and you can make a nice scene from that so it's as simple as that so you need to practice and get some depth depth in your paintings so you can see it's quite effective now you can put some clouds in so that would just be my type of um, underpainting as far as um, I could this could be the sea, it could be a lake, you, you can have distant mountains in there, if this was green it could be grass. So that's my bones, base bones of a, a painting. But as you can see from this angle, it looks even better and looks even deeper and that's the most important thing. That dark area there, going into light, and that dark area there, coming down to light, gives you depth and distance in the painting without working too hard. Now, the next step would be to add things into this painting. So maybe next time we'll have a look at that. Um, I'm not going to be using this particular canvas, so I'll get another one prepared. And then for the next lesson, we'll have a look at putting some mountains or something in there and, and making this into a painting. And um, that type of thing you can do for your own imagination. You can work from photographs, you can work from reference materials. It's entirely up to you. But as far as landscapes are concerned, this is a good way of showing depth in a painting by using only maybe four colours. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. My name is Clive from Clive's Art. And um, please press the subscribe button if you're already um, if you if you're already a subscriber, lovely. If you're not a subscriber, press this subscribe button here. Check out my links below. And um, well, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Clive from Clive's Art. Bye bye.
okay so I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did making it and painting it I must add and um, well thank you very much for watching check me out on Facebook you can join me on Twitter don't forget to check those playlists out and I invite you to press the subscribe button if you haven't already done so so thank you very much for watching I'm Clive from Clive's Art and I will see you on the next episode bye bye